Okay, so let's hope that this goes through. I've done this video like five times and just does not want to go through. Okay. Hey, y'all. Uh, so, uh, this video is for people who design their templates inside of Scal and they could cut them on whichever uh, cutter you have. So, let's go back. If you buy your stones from Be Createful, The Rhinestone World, Eve from Eve's Boot, from The Baby's Booty, uh, Amazon, all the stones that we buy, while they may say SS6 or SS10, are not cut the same. If you look at somebody, say, for instance, um, Be Creative, she might say, cut your stones at 0.13. But if you go to the rhinestone world, he says, cut his, your circles, not your stones, sorry, your circles. He says, cut your circles at 0.135. So when I do my design work, because I bought stones from him, I'm sizing for 0.135. That's why when you see me do the last video, I was mousing over the 0.13 to 0.14. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is a template that I made that you can cut out of paper or cardstock. And pretty much you will brush your stones into the circles and see which one fits the best. But I will remind you, this is for people who are sizing their stones and doing their templates inside of Scal. If you were somebody who, you know, you're going to do it on um, Silhouette, then you'd make a template for Silhouette. If you were going to do it for Scan and Cut, you would use Scan and Cut software. But most of the software that, and from my, from my observation, Silhouette and uh, Brother Scan and Cut, their software is using their stones because each kit that you can buy, I have this. Say, for instance, I have the Scan and Cut um, Rhinestone Kit. When I make a design inside of Canvas, it's going for a brother's stones. It's not going for me buying stones from uh, the Rhinestone world. So this is what we're doing. You come over here, you make a square. And you want to size it. So over here, I'm going to size it for two by two. And for this purpose, I'll keep it as blue. But we're going to go layer, duplicate, layer, duplicate. And I've made black, so I'll hide these two. They're all two by two size circles. Bring it down, bring it down. This is just for the benefit of making the squares all the same size. The circles will not be all the same size, but you'll see that in a minute. And I'll bring these over here. Now, because I design my designs in Scal, when I go right click appearance rhinestones and say for instance I'm using SS10, everybody stones, just because you see stone size SS10 here, this is the millimeters and this is the inches, all the stones are not cut the same and they all don't require the same size in, in terms of inches. So you can't just go by SS10 thinking that you get SS10 and then your design will be will come out the same. When you, if you read the, the scan and cut, um, the manual that they have, they recommend that you go three sizes higher. So if I was gonna make my design, I wouldn't just click SS10 and then I'm looking at the inches and saying 0.106 to 0.11, I would look three times, uh, three sizes higher which would be in the 13s, but because the rhinestone world, when he says make your designs for 0.135, I'd be looking at 14 instead, just based off of inches. You can see where that would get frustrating when you're trying to size your, uh, your designs. So you click your size, and you can do this for each type, uh, rectangle, square, circles. You don't have to worry about adjusting, spacing, or any of this. You pretty much just, you're going to go with your size. And for this one, it's the size, it's the small 10. Okay. This one, I'm going to right click rhinestones. I'm going to go with large 10 circle. Okay. Now, let's zoom in.
go come on son. If you put these over each other, or even looking at them, you can see based off of the spacing, they are not the same size. Because I know that this is SS10, I'm going to type SS10. I'll duplicate this because the other one I have made is SS10. Bring this down. And then I'll go small. I'll go large. So I'm going to lock this one and this one. Just because I don't want it to move while I take these in and place them inside. You just Ten. And then I can unlock them. Now, if I click on the square, right click, break apart, highlight the whole thing, merge, you can see that it no longer looks like Rhino. These are the circles that would be sent into your program, say Cricut. If you were not breaking apart these and you were just sending it from here into Cricut, all those individual circles, once you start cutting it, it's going to make your system like stutter, lag. You don't want that. It could make your like your software crash or your cutter software crash. So yet again, you're going to right click, break apart, highlight the whole thing, right click, merge, and now this is all one thing. See? It doesn't matter about the words. This is the circle size. And you can see that the circles are not the same. For the sake of showing, I'm going to bring one of these over. And I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to right click appearance, rhinestones. And then I'm going to go with the size that the, uh, say the rhinestone will. He recommends 0.135. So I'm looking at SS14 small. Hit the circle. And close OK. You can see the difference in terms the sizes from SS10 here. We'll click here, SS14. And then we'll go with small. And... I could take this, lock it for now, add this in, size it down, size it down, unlock this, click it, right click, click apart, grab the whole thing, right click, merge, and you can see the size, the different sizes. So this SS10 small versus this SS14 small, this is the size that Rhinestone World recommends that you cut for his, for his size stones. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this video is pretty much, like I said, we buy stones from all over the place. And when, we, when we're getting different millimeter sizes or different inch sizes and you bring it in the scowl, you sit in there, you're like, well, hmm, I should put it within this, but sometimes you might miss look. So I made my template. I took SS6, which was most common, all the way up to SS30 because I might want to use eyes. And pretty much how this goes is these sizes, SS6, small and large, all the way up to the SS30 are for scale size stones when you make your design. The same way you saw me make the square and all the squares are the same size of two by two or, you know, I just made a square right now. It's like 1.9 and all of this, all of them, um, all of the stones should be even out. 
in terms of I started with a two by two, I duplicated it across five times, and then I changed it to rhinestones, put the name in for each one as I went, and here we are. I'm gonna cut this out of cardstock, and when I get my stones, I just brush them in. The stones, when they when they fall into place, they should be fastened up, glue at the bottom. They shouldn't have too much room. They shouldn't be popping all over the place. I come back in the scowl when I make my design. I know that my uh, setup for my design size should coincide with what the size for scowl is. And the reason why I put large and small is only because I didn't do top and bottom. It's just the smaller size that was in the scowl, the larger size that was in the scowl, and those that didn't have a different size, well, I didn't put a small or a large size there. If you take this template into Cricut, because everything is merch, right? You can see with this one being a 30, these circles are huge. Just don't put them on the same page or just arrange them on a 12 by 12 square so that they're not overlapping and they're not too close. Because you do this inside of Scal, like I can move all of these. And you can see the difference. Doesn't matter. where they are, but just make sure that when you cut them, they're not overlapping and they're not too close. So that doesn't drag on and mess up your template. And I'll say it one more time. This size, the SS size, is simply for the the, the size of the, of the circles in scalp. If you have Silhouette, Silhouette has the six, the eight or 10, the 16 and the 20, you can make a template and do the same thing if you're going to be using that software. You would just simply take a square, circle, star, whatever, size it to that size, type in which number it is, brush the stones in, and the ones that fit the best are the way that you go. Because from my understanding, you can't change the circle size inside of it right off that without you having to do some finagling and because I'm using scowl this is what I use as a template for my uh, rhinestone designs. I hope this works for you and if you have any questions hit me down below if you want to buy my uh, template let me know because I might do it again just because I fit I don't know <laughs> but remember I this is for cutting out for me this is for cutting this out in cardstock. I wouldn't necessarily cut this out in flock but you could if you wanted to, but flock is expensive. So just as a template for template sake or sim templates sake, you can just cut it out of cardstock and it will cut out the SS10, small, six, small, 11, 12. If you want this to be written, then you would have to go in and change this to be drawn in. But it, you know, if you're cutting this out of cardstock, why change up your blade to a pen and then have it draw? It just keep it simple. Hi, Lydia.